All right, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Brick Galaxy, and today we're going to be looking at a Spider Man No Way Home set just in time for the movie that's just around the corner. This is set 76195 Spider Man's Drone Duel, which has a total of 198 pieces and retails for 1999 USD. Or if you're in Malaysia, just like I am, it retails for about 99 ringgit and 99 cents. Without further ado, let's take a closer look at the minifigures first before we move on to the builds of the set. First off, we have Adrian Toomes, aka the Vulture from the Homecoming movie, played by none other than Michael Keaton himself. Now, this is a complete redesign of the Vulture figure we got back in 2017 in the Beware the Vulture set, which is set 76083 if you want to check it out. We have new torso printing, we have new colored legs, we have completely new face printing, and an added breathing apparatus piece uh, now compared to the previous figure, which is just a helmet. I love this redesign, I think the torso printing is amazing, much better than the 2017 one. I love all the straps and the fur that LEGO has printed onto the torso, which goes onto the back of the figure. And as you can see, there's additional details printed on the back as well. Now, unfortunately, we do not have any leg printing, but given the amount of detail that LEGO has given onto the torso and onto the head, I actually don't mind the leg of leg printing. Now, we have two face printings, First one is the one with the vulture, uh, with the vulture mask on, and with the green eyes, which is the one here. I think it looks really good. It looks really menacing once I put on the visor and the, the helmet itself. The alternate printing is without the mask, and it's actually Michael Keaton's face, which I thought wasn't necessary, but I'm glad Lego included it. Now, finishing off with the visor and the helmet itself, I'm just gonna add that now. I think this is a pretty great figure, it looks pretty good, and it's a huge improvement over the 2017 one, which when we got it, it was just the brand new helmet piece that LEGO created. He does come with a purple diamond piece and a stud shooter gun to represent the Shatari tech gun he used in the movie, which I'm not a huge fan of. I think LEGO could have done a better job to represent this, uh, the, the gun itself. Now moving on to the wings, again this is a complete redesign of the wings from the 2017 set. It's more streamlined, it's not as blocky, and overall I think it looks a lot better. I especially love the turbine parts which are attached via a ball joint, so there's a lot of maneuverability and posability as you can see. It turns all the way around, forwards, backwards, so you can do pretty much anything with it. And you have all these stickers on the body of the wings uh, to add to add more details and to represent the mechanical parts of the wings. There's two here and two on the other side. As you can see, they are identical. And you have the claw bits at the end, which are again completed with stickers. There's three of them here, and there's another three of them on the other side. On the back, there's just one Nexo Knight shield piece, and it's completed again by another sticker on, on top there. Overall, I really love this figure, and I think these new wings work a lot better than the old ones. I think, it, I think it's more accurate to the actual MCU character as, as how it appeared in Homecoming. The only downside I have is that the back attachment might be a little bit too long or too large for the figure. As you can see, it actually extends uh, past the minifigure's legs. So it's actually pretty hard to make a vulture stand with the, with the entire shield attachment on. If LEGO could shrink just this back bit a little bit, I think it would have made this figure a 10 out of 10. However, as it is, I think it's still a pretty good figure and I think people would still want to get this new vulture one um, as it's just incredible. Now, moving on to the main man himself, Spider-Man in a new black and gold suit. I am in love with this figure, I think it's the best Spider-Man printed figure ever, and it's my favorite variation out of all the Spider-Man minifigures that we have gotten so far. There's just so much detail printed on this figure, it's unbelievable. There are circuit designs all over the torso, which continues onto the leg, on the back, and even on the arms. I think the arms is really what made this figure a 10 out of 10. It looks amazing, there's just so much detail printed on there is not just a basic double mold or anything. Uh, there are also small little details printed onto each of the gaps of the web detailing on the suit, uh, which is super cool and super detailed and I love it. The metallic gold and the gray bits really go with the black, really complement each other and it 
honestly, it really makes this figure stand out. I'm very excited, very, very excited to see this suit in the movie. Of course, we would know if this is the main suit or just a, a secondary one. Um, so we don't know how much screen time this will actually get. But hopefully it gets quite a bit. And because this, this figure and this suit itself, it just looks amazing. Together with Spider-Man, we do get a whole bunch of the web pieces we usually get. But this time in the Pearl Girl, which I don't think we have gotten before. They look really good in my opinion and goes really well with the minifigure. I just haven't opened my bag because I don't usually display my Spider-Man figures with the web attachments. So therefore, I'm not planning on opening the bag. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, moving on to the build of the set, and as the name suggests, we have a drone, and I'm not quite sure what to make of this. Honestly, it looks cool, it's a pretty interesting build, and although it's labeled as a drone, you can actually house a minifigure in this, and that's the front here. You can actually put Spider-Man or whoever you want um, in the front, which is a small little cockpit, and fortunately, there are no other details uh, in the cockpit itself. And when it's fully when it's fully closed, it doesn't actually cover the entire thing. I'll just put Spider-Man there to show you guys. As you can see, you can fit him in there. And once you close it, unfortunately, there's a gap over there, so the cockpit doesn't actually cover the entirety in the entire front part. Now there is some playability element, but not a lot. You have these two stud shooters. Uh, on top, you have a little hidden storage uh, box at the back of the drone under these flaps uh, and inside there's a, actually a spider drone uh, if I can get it open over there oh, there you go, over there that's the little spider drone that's hidden in the storage box at the back there and last but not least, you have these uh, you have this sort of long cable piece attached to the back uh, which I guess is to show Spider-Man swinging down from the drone or something like that. The color combination mimics the Spider-Man figure uh, using the black and gold all over, which I think looks really good. You have stickers on the front over there, which sort of look like sp spider eyes, which I thought was pretty cool. You have a sticker on the top here. It's a Spider-Man logo. And on the back flaps, you have these two that sort of go together and sort of connect. Now, uh, overall, the shape is pretty interesting. Uh, it's not so much of a spider than a, 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 I don't know, any other insect, maybe a beetle or something. You do have rotors on all four sides, which spin nicely. And are built exactly the same. And again, these bits here are all stickers. There's one, two, three, four. These are all the same identical stickers. And finishing each rotor off is a pearl gold wing piece, as you can see over here, and on the front too. Overall, it's a sturdy build. It's, however, it's pretty simple, and there's a lot of gaps, which I do not like, primarily in the cockpit there. And there's actually a gap here as well on the back, as you can see. Other than that, there's not too much going on with the spider drone. Again, it's a really simple build, um, and yeah. Now the front of the box does say that the set is inspired by Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm guessing it's because there's Vulture in it. However, as you may know, the black and gold suit doesn't appear in Homecoming and it's only appearing for the first time in No Way Home. So maybe it's just Lego's way of trying to avoid spoiling the movie. However, I can't imagine Spider-Man commandeering a drone in any way. So I don't see how this vehicle or the drone fits in the grand scheme of things. That being said, most people will most probably get this set solely for the figures and that is totally understandable. I am probably one of them. While the drone does look good aesthetically, I probably won't be displaying it. I'll just be keeping it in the box. For the price point though, I honestly wish they included another minifigure. I think a third figure would have made this set a whole lot better. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the set in the comments down below. Are you planning on getting this set for yourself? Have you already gotten it? Are you excited for Spider-Man No Way Home? Have you gotten your tickets for the 16? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and maybe think about subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!